Diana tells us that of the seven cows they have at the farm, they're currently milking three cows, which have a total of 110 liters. Two cows produce 35 liters each and the other produces 30 liters. There is also a ready market from the many neighbors and shops surrounding their farm. Three cows are being milked. Uh, I can say that the milk production has gone a little um, down because they are in calf, but usually we have 100 to 110 liters because there is a cow that produces 35 liters, the other one produces, two produces 35 liters and the other one 30. We have so many neighbors and so many shops so we sell it around. A well-fed heifer is able to show signs when she's due for service. Diana tells us that having spent time with the cows, she now knows when they are in heat. Signs of heat include restlessness, moving, and a clear discharge from their genital area. Diana uses artificial insemination to serve her cows when they come in heat. You have to learn, you have to spend time with the cows, with the heifers, to know what sign they show uh, when on heat. We use AI. Currently, there is a reduction in milk prices. Diana says that due to this milk has flooded the market. This is a great challenge that she is facing as of now. The biggest challenge we have now is that uh, um, with the reduction of milk prices, uh, we are, I can say that we have a, a challenge in selling milk because it's flooded now. Very many farmers are uh, all over uh, taking their milk around. So I can say the biggest challenge we have is the uh, milk prices. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the many challenges we had, we are learning to deal with them, like uh, diseases and all that. I can say that um, we, we have dealt with those ones. Sourcing quality feeds is a challenge to many farmers. Diana was not spared either. To tackle this challenge, they have started mixing their own feeds. The cows feed about 15 to 18 kilos of feed every day. This is comprised of dairy meal, silage and hay. Silage can be stored for long and it is nutritious. Hi, another challenge uh, we were facing is, uh, was with the feeding, the feeding. So we had to think of uh, a better way and a more cheaper way uh, with the feeding. So that's how we started uh, mixing our own uh, formulas, feeds. So um, they take a lot to produce. You have to give them to have a good um, milk production. So why we do silage is because we want uh, to store uh, food for a long time and uh, when you silage it, it's nutritious. Due to the high cost of feed, Diana's brother bought the maize milling machine and the mixing machine. By producing their own feeds, Diana tells us that only the profit margins have increased. They only buy the raw materials which include pollard, sunflower, cotton seed cake, maize germ, maize bran and others. Using this, they mix in certain ratios to make their own ratios. This is our warehouse. This is where we make our feeds. Um, when the feeds got too expensive, we had to think uh, of a way out, of a cheaper way. So um, my brother owns the company, so he had to uh, buy the machines. Uh, we can say that since we started uh, producing our own feeds, uh, it has, uh, we've seen a change uh, profit-wise. We've seen a big margin. Um, because it's too expensive to buy for the animals. What we do is we buy um, raw materials like um, pollard and sunflower and um, cotton, uh, maize jam, uh, maize bran uh, and many others and make our own formula. Cow comfort is key for maximum milk production. Diana has supplied the cows with mattresses 
This offers a cows a nice place to rest after feeding so they can chew cud so as to produce milk. Diana tells us that the mattresses cost 3,400 for the cows and 300 for the calves and heifers. These cows, you have to keep them as comfortable as possible for milk production. So you have to find ways to make the cows uh, comfortable. After feeding at 10, you leave them to relax. So that's where they go to relax. They sleep on the mattresses, they relax, they chew cards to the next milking time. So they don't eat all the time. They have that resting time. Yeah. So the rest time, they rest on the mattress. Diana advises anyone aspiring to venture into the dairy industry to start from somewhere and grow. My advice will be an advice I've been given by so many other farmers that you have to start from somewhere. You have to start from somewhere. We started at three, we are now at seven and targeting 200 onwards. So if you have uh, something to start, uh, if you have money to start with one cow, just start. If you have to start with a calf, just start. Start from somewhere. Yeah. And this, I must tell people that this is a well-paying job. She adds that dairy farming is a good job with a reliable income. Keep it tuned to KTN Farmers TV, Dairy Farms endeavors to clearly guide and educate you on the best ways to start and run your dairy farm.